Hi, I've had a few requests to do a tutorial for Hummingbird, which is a John Smith song from the album of the same name. So I'm going to play it through in a second and then talk it through. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the version that I've got here is, is correct, but uh, just to, to say, this song is kind of at the, the top of my skill level, so you'll have to forgive any bum notes uh, when I play it through. It'll probably be a little bit slower than he plays on the album, definitely slower than he plays it live. Um, but as I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's accurate, just my fingers aren't quite quick enough. So from your point of view, it should be great to learn from and hopefully be able to play it a bit, a bit quicker than me. Okay. Okay, so it's in drop D tuning. Um, it's probably best to go through the chord shapes first, then I'll go through the pigment pattern separately, then we can put it all together. Uh, so for the main riff, you're going to start off on the 9th fret uh, on the bottom string and the 7th fret on the 3rd string. Then the whole riff staying on those same strings. You're going to move down to 7 and 6 holding down two more frets to five and four, then to four and two. Then you're going to move your uh, ring finger across to the fourth fret on the fourth string, and then you're going to finish just with the index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So all through that's. You can do it all just with the same two fingers, but I find especially when you start to go faster, if you use the same two fingers, you get a lot of that string ring, whereas if you switch, so starting with the ring finger there, then moving down to the middle finger, then back to the ring down there, it minimises that. It minimises it a lot more when you're playing it a bit quicker. So. Once you've got that, the next step is the picking pattern. Um, but you can be a little bit loose with the picking pattern, uh, but there's a few things that if you get it more accurate, it'll sound a little bit better. So the, the main picking pattern to start with is uh, just going to be playing straight eighth notes with the, uh, with the thumb all the way through, usually on the sixth and fourth strings and occasionally up to the 5th and 4th as well. But you really want to make sure that you've got that kind of Travis thumb locked in, because uh, that happens throughout the song. So the picking pattern to start with, uh, just playing any old chord. Uh, you're going to play together. So, together, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. with the fingers, you get this. The 
thing to pay attention to there is when you move from the first shape to the second, you're going to slide down. So you're going to play, and then you're going to play the, the bass note while it's still on the ninth fret, while your finger's still on the ninth fret, and then as soon as you play it, slide down to your next position. a little bit of practice but if you can try and make sure you get that it sounds it sounds quite a lot nicer and again like I say you can swap fingers so you you start the slide on the ring finger and then just move down the middle finger there okay and then the next chord as I say is moving that, that uh, ring finger across So you're just going to take the, the second fret off that. Again, nice and slowly. So moving up to the, uh, to the fifth string for the bass note for that last chord there. Hopefully that's slow enough that you can see. I'll do it once more for you. And the second time through, exactly the same, except here, you just stay on that chord. You don't, you don't go down to there, you just stay there. through again uh, and then the fourth time through well I think it kind of occurs kind of halfway through the verse uh, there's this lick so this is one part of the song where the thumb changes slightly from that Travis picking um, because just to play through the, the bass notes there you're gonna play so your thumb is actually gonna play Play, you end up playing three in a row on that bottom string there. So, two, three. So, uh, in terms of what the other fingers are doing, um, really it's just kind of filling in the space. So, nice and slowly. that you're just just playing the thumb nothing else there just for the first the first chord there you play a, a couple of extra notes and then when you get to here sense and that's it it's just playing around that for the for the verse uh, when it comes to the chorus uh, it's a little bit tricky for the right hand and for the left hand so again uh, we'll go through the chord shapes first then go through the picking pattern then put it all together so the chord shapes are barring across the bottom two strings on the second fret and then playing the fourth fret on the fourth string Across to play the fourth fret on the bottom string and the second fret on the third string. Then you're going to stretch with your to move that finger up to the fifth fret and then play the second fret on the second string. Now is the, the tricky chord. Uh, you're going to move your index finger back across to that third string and you're also going to play the fourth fret on the, on the second string. You can play it that way if you if it's easier for you uh, to play 
with the middle finger rather than the pinky. But the reason I tend to play with the pinky is because from there you're going to slide up to that's five, the fifth fret on the bottom string, fourth fret on the third string, and fifth fret on the second string. So that those three there together are. If you're really struggling to, to make this work, you can just play this. Uh, take that off. It sounds a lot better with it on, so if you, if you can get it, it's better, but you, you move through it quite quickly, uh, so you probably could get away with that if you're really struggling to make that reach, but I'd recommend just working on getting it. Uh, which way around now? Getting the water ring out in whichever position works best for you. So those chords once more. In terms of the picking pattern, nice and slow. So to start with, that's all alternating, so you're not playing any of the things at the same time. And then keeping the, the exact same chord pattern. So that's playing the first note together. So the chorus is all with that picking pattern, so if you can just get used to playing that. So, oh, do that a little bit better. And then together, and then to the top string. Same picking pattern again. Same picking pattern again. And again. And again. And back down to that shape. So fourth fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string, and then you just play the same thing again. sense and you can see that that's really just the same picking pattern again and again just changing the chord shape each time. Then once you've played that through the chorus you're back to your back to the same riff as before. The only other section uh, is there's a little instrumental um, you'll probably recognize it is the part that ends so on the record uh, that's played just the same riff that we've been playing all the way through and there's a second guitar playing an instrumental part over the top. In the live versions that he plays, he plays something slightly different. Now this is, uh, he plays it a little bit faster than I can play it. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to do at speed, but it sounds really, really nice uh, and it's definitely worth me showing you uh, how to play it because you can probably play it faster than me. Um, and it's, it's a really nice little pattern. So. You start off exactly the same as you have been. Instead of moving to there, you move your finger across to the top here. I'll play the whole thing through nice and slowly so you can actually sound what it's going to hear like. So that's that whole pattern. So as I say, play the first part just as just as usual. Then when you get to there, you're going to move this finger across. Uh, 
as we've been doing the rest of it, let's do the chords first and then the picking pan. So the chords are going to be uh, all on the, the third and the first strings. So we've got 2-4 here, 2-4, then up to 4-5, then 7-7, seven, seven, then 11-12. for that. Uh, again, the very first note, you're going to play the, the top string and the bottom string together, but the rest of it is all going to be this picking pan. So together, and then once you got used to playing that speed, just about moving the fingers up after each four notes. So from here, Keep that index finger on the third string, move it down to the seventh fret, and then you're going to play the ninth fret on the sixth string and the second string. And then play these two together. So, because again, the thumb's just doing this the whole way through. So, as soon as you hit that that note, you're going to slide it down. Sit down to, and then you're going to slide down and then take that finger off and just play the, the second fret. So that's just the, the fourth fret on the fourth string there. fret and using the open uh, A string as your bass note. So then you're going to play the third fret on the fifth and the second string and hammer on to the second fret on the top string. So here your thumb is alternating between the fifth and the third string. Fourth there, not hammer on. Sorry, play on. Play the fourth there. And that's the, the fifth fret on the bottom string and the fourth fret on the, on the third there. There is one section uh, of the song where he's playing, especially when he's playing live, uh, where it's mostly just vocals and he's just kind of quietly picking the chords. But instead of playing on the bass note, on the, the, the bass note on the sixth string, he's just doing exactly the same thing, but up on the, the fourth string. So obviously they're both both D's. So instead of playing. say that's it for a very quiet part of the song just until he gets to the and then it goes back to the, the main riff that we were playing before. Uh, so yeah I hope that makes sense. Um, if not obviously just go back and, and look at those picking parts 
I really recommend practicing the picking part separately and then adding in the hands. Otherwise, for me at least, it felt a little bit of uh, yeah, it felt a little bit tricky to, to fit both things in together. So I really recommend taking them one at a time if you're struggling with it. So I hope that's useful. Like I say, I'm, I'm pretty confident that most of that's correct. Um, if you end up playing this song, covering it, recording it, I'd really like to see it. So leave a leave a link in the comments below. Uh, or if you have any suggestions or, or anything like that, uh, let me know. Uh, and if there's any other songs that you want me to have a go at, at covering, again, just leave a comment down below. Um, I'm aware that it takes me a little while to get around to them, but I am trying to get a bit better with that. So if you leave a comment, I'll, I'll do my best to get something turned around for you. Thanks very much.